Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Sive and bringing you more Magic the Gathering lore. Today, we're continuing to dissect the stories behind the cards found in Throne of Eldrain. While these cards aren't necessarily tied to the lore of Eldrain we see in the novels, they are tied to folklore and fairy tales we see in the real world. Let's take a look at one of these examples and find the real world inspiration behind its meaning. Let's examine Piper of the Swarm. This human warlock, which seems to be like wizard getting into the classic WoW hype. Uh, anyway, it's a 1-3 for one generic and a single black mana. It passively provides rats you control with menace. Pay one generic and a single black, tap it and create a 1-1 one, one rat token. Pay two generic and double black and tap it, sack three rats, gain control of target creature. Let's see how these abilities speak to the tale that inspired Piper of the Swarm. This is one I feel like some of you may not be that familiar with, but this card is based on the folklore of the Pied Piper. As the legend goes, a town was infested by diseased rats when a mysterious outsider in pied clothing, basically rags, appeared and promised he could take care of the rats for a price. Though expensive, the mayor of the town agreed and the Piper went to work. Using a magical melody, the Piper enchanted the rats and gained control over them. They followed him through the streets, growing into a swarm. As promised though, the piper led the rats to a river and they all drowned, freeing the town from the infestation. Though this isn't the end of the tale. The mayor wouldn't hold up his end of the bargain and stiffed the piper of his payment. As retribution, the piper turned his magical melody on the kids of the town, enchanting the children who were never seen again. It's a tale about always paying someone after they've done a service for you, so don't be a jerk and stiff anyone who does a job, guys. Still, how does the piper of the swarm incorporate this story into its card's design? This is probably the most on-point flavor card from Eldrain I've seen so far. While I can be a little peeved by how literal the cards are to the story, the designers at least did a fantastic job molding the mechanics of each card to the story of its origin. Piper of the Swarm is no exception. From the story, Piper of the Swarm of course has the ability to draw rats out from the city, thus creating those rat tokens. I'm not sure about giving rats the ability to plow through people with menace, but Hey, get enough of them to swarm and I'm sure they can go through anything, right? At least in the story, they probably looked menacing. The greatest flavor win though is in the second ability, sacking rats to gain control of another creature. It symbolizes the end of the story so perfectly, the piper exterminating the rats but controlling the children instead. A genius piece of flavor design on a card if I ever saw one. The artwork for this card shows a man in rags, very similar to the dress described in many of the versions of the Pied Piper story. The art is just so beautiful here, it's dark, mysterious, and full of rats. Now I've never been much of a rat player, but I'm sure there's others who are going to love this card to no end. It's like a control element to a rat deck that I've never really seen before. As for the card itself, speaking from a limited standpoint, I think it's amazing as a rare and for sure something I would snag first pick in most cases. Uh, this is a cheap card with a decent butt for its price and its ability to make 1-1s is great and adds a lot of value. 2 mana is great for a 1-1 menace on tap each turn. More so, it gives you even more value later in the game for a relatively cheap control ability that swings a creature to your side and turns the table of the game. Though you do have to keep your rats alive, which makes this weak to removal, but most cards are, so what are you going to do, right? Once this thing comes down, it's a massive threat to the board that can steal a creature once every other turn as soon as you get three rats out, and put your opponent on a must deal with situation or they'll lose the game. It's just pretty amazing and limited. Anyway guys, that's the story of the Pied Piper of the Swarm, the rat charming turned psychopathic child abductor who can steal your opponent's creatures. Let us know your thoughts on this card in the comment section below and let us know what you think about the story that inspired it. If you enjoyed the video, you can support the channel by leaving it a like, sharing, and of course subscribing to the channel, hitting that bell so you never miss out on our latest lore videos. As always guys, thank you all so much for watching and until next time, see ya!